Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today, for lunch, I'm going to be cooking fried hakefish with fried potatoes. So let's begin. Okay, so we'll start off by cracking a couple of eggs. And we'll give them a good beating. I'm using hake fish. You probably know that I use that quite a lot. You can use any other fish if you like. Um, I'm using the tail ends. Usually, you can you, you can like cut them in wheels. You know, if they were bigger. Well, if it was the whole fish, because obviously that would be wider, wouldn't it? But I'm using these four anyway. So let's give this a beating, and we're going to be eating them with um, fried potatoes, not chips or fries or chip sticks. What I'm going to do is, you won't see me doing it, so I don't want to bore the socks out of you. I'll be peeling these and cutting them into cubes, because cutting them into cubes I can fit more in the frying pan and they are much easier to move about in the frying pan because if they're like cut into like chips, fries, they and you put too many in the pan, they tend to break. Okay, so that's ready, so we'll put that to one side. And I've got a plate here, let's just chuck that away got a plate here with some just normal household flour and what I'll do is put the fish in this flour and I'm going to salt it. Obviously you can add as much or as less salt as you prefer and we'll turn them over so that the they get well coated in the flour like that and we'll just leave this to one side and move on to the next step right so I've got my frying pan here with oil about a centimeter of oil roughly. I'm using sunflower oil, the same oil that I'm using to fry the potatoes. So let's turn the stove on. I'm going to turn it up to number eight and wait for the oil to reach a high temperature. You can use olive oil or any other cooking oil but today because you need quite a bit of oil I think it's a waste to use olive oil as it's well expensive here at the moment well at the moment for the past year or so right so let's wait for this to heat up okay so what we do next is wait a minute I'm trying to get this all on camera at the same time right that should do it so what we do is Get the fish and just shake the flour off and dip it into the egg. Turn it round and once the oil is hot, we'll chuck them in. Let's just now it's not boiling yet so it's not hot yet give it a few more minutes right so once the oil is hot we'll add the fish also I'm doing the fish first because these taste really good um, cold so it's better to eat the fish cold 
than to eat the potatoes cold, don't you think so? The oil is hot, or well, it could have been a bit hotter, I think. But hey, it doesn't matter. So let's do these other two also. We'll wait for the oil to be hotter. And then we'll add these two. And basically, we're going to fry these for about five minutes on each side until they're nice and golden brown. And then we'll get a paper towel, put it on a plate and just chuck them on there. Right, so these are done. So let's put them on this plate with the paper towel so that any oil will be sucked. And this oil, well, I could save it. I'll let it cool down and I'll save it for the next time that I fry fish. So I'll let it cool down and chuck it in a jaw and I won't turn the heat off I'll put this for the potatoes and the next step will be to peel the potatoes and to cube them up but I really don't have to show you how to do that do I I'm sure that you can manage that now okay Well, in the end, I'm going to do it. So, if you don't want to watch me sort these potatoes out and blab about anything that I can think of, just skip to the next level. And those that do like to listen to me blab on about random crap. Thank you very much. As it builds up my watch hours, which are so poor compared to my followers, subscribers. Anyway, you may have noticed that I haven't been posting my usual three full recipe videos um, every week but well, that's because I'm still not really up to it to be honest I still feel very very tired every now and then like now for example but the good news is the wine's starting to taste better now so cheers I do like my potatoes, you probably know that by now, especially fried, that's why I'm making lots. So as I said earlier on, I'm cubing them up because they're much easier to, um, you know, move about in the frying pan without them breaking or anything. So that's why I'm doing them cubed instead of chips or fries. Fries, like the, the rubbish you get from McDonald's, I usually call them chipsticks. Anyway, you know that I was hospitalised on the 28th of April for just over three weeks. Well, I don't know, I can't remember very well if I mentioned that I 
I planted a lot of seeds, you know, for vegetables and all stuff. Well, it turns out that I've lost it all. Because being in hospital for that long, well, there was no one to water them and etc. So I'm quite gutted about that because I had tomatoes, peppers, chilies. I don't know. The works. So I'll have to wait probably till next year. No, the temperatures that we're getting here lately. I can probably plant them now and have them by November, December for Crimbo. Anyway, these are the potatoes that we're going to be eating. So there's quite a few there. It's probably about for three or four people. But I'll be eating this and my darling wife will be eating that way. So let's wait for the oil to heat up and we'll fry these babies. Thanks for listening to me. Okay, so I've got my oil here. I've got it on number seven. I'm just going to Oh yeah, that's ready. Sorted. So I'm going to chuck all these in here. I know most people would do them in two lots. But I usually do them in one lot. That's why I do them cubes, you know. Because they fit better. And they're easier to move about. See what I mean? And what I'll do with this thingy bob, I'm just going to give it a rinse. And then just put a couple of um, paper towels on top, so that once the potatoes are ready, I can chuck them in there. Right, see what I mean? Oh, that's a message. Wow, my darling wife is on her way home. See what I mean with this? It's so easy to stare. Right, so these potatoes, they look fine to me. So let's um, take them out and put them on this dish that I showed you earlier on. With some, what do you call them? God, this is so hard. You get my drift, don't you? So I'll be back in a minute. Right, so here's the potatoes. So let's um, let's chuck in some salt. And we'll give them a wobble. And we potatoes sorted. And here is today's delicious fish and chips sort of anyway what do you think let me know in the comments thank you very much for watching and see you soon